Hello everybody. Welcome to the Stray Cats Cafe. It's me, your lovely host, Star Variant here. And we are here today with a simple VOD review. So this is going to be a series that I'm planning on doing. Uh, I don't play every character in the game. Uh, but I do play against super proficient players. And so I thought it would be really beneficial if I go over some matchups, like player matchups that shut me down uh, when I play the game. So the reason I'm doing this is because people often ask me, oh, how do I beat Panwheel? Uh, I, I feel like my character can't do anything against this. And I tell them, oh, it's a good matchup. I've been shut down before by other uh, players. You should watch X player. And so I figured, you know, instead of, we don't have Tuna with Bacon right now. Uh, Tuna with Bacon is down right now. And so searching players is hard. So I figured I'd just go through my replays, give them a little analysis and show you guys how I've been shut down by uh, specific players. So today's player is going to be Clawmaster. I fought Clawmaster a lot. Uh, we only ever play against each other in bracket and they've definitely gotten accustomed to uh, a style that shuts my pain wheel down. Um, so the first thing I want to tell you is Big Band versus pain wheel. You do not want to be doing this. If she's already flying, you do not want to use HA Train. HA Train is the easiest thing to bait, and every pain wheel is expecting it. They're preemptively unflying uh, to land cancel it. You get a huge punish after it. Super unsafe. But just know if you are A training her, H training her, you want to be doing it when she reflies. I'll show you what that looks like in a moment, uh, but for now, let's just keep watching. Okay, you can see there, uh, Clawmaster is spacing me with double jump symbols. I'm going to show you guys why that's so good, uh, but for now, it's just spacing me. I can't really press anything. I call my assist to get in on Big Band. It is what it is. Yeah. Clawmaster up forward jump light kicks, which is really good if I decided to go in in that moment, but I didn't, and I decided to basically whiff punish it. He already used his double jump, I think. And then I think I just kill him again. So I just wanted to start off the video with the example of why H Chain is not that good of an option against Pain Wheel. Uh, because it goes really far into like the way I play the matchup. So because of that, um, Unfly is not the only way to beat H Chain. You can also beat it with uh, just standing armor. So I'll show you guys an example of what happens when you try to do too much standing armor to beat a train. You want to threaten the rock, paper, scissors, but you don't want to ever have to use it. Because the rock, paper, scissors is a great way to lose as big band. And by rock, paper, scissors, I mean H train for if they're in the air, uh, brass if they're blocking on the ground, or if they're pressing a button on the ground, and command throw if they're blocking on the ground, or uh, e-brake, or uh, what is it called, M-train? Okay, so this is one of the matches that I mentioned earlier where I play Point Para. This doesn't really matter too much because this is not the focus of the video. Okay, so now we're relatively even. Both of us don't have meter. I'm a little bit lower. So I just want to highlight that there. So in neutral, I whiffed a, a button, but I'm still it's still my turn. I just uh, got a miss input here. I wanted to do nails. I didn't get the nails. So I jump back. Both of us are in a neutral position from each other. Let's watch it in slow motion. So check this out. This range right here, if I were to fly jump medium punch against most characters, I, I would win. I would make them block or counter hit them. But against Big Band, with his double jump and his big symbols, his symbols is like basically more disjointed than my uh, jump medium punch, which allows him to hit me. So a big theme you're going to be seeing in these videos is Clawmaster um, just like basically spams the double jump uh, symbols and it catches me uh, if I'm not being careful. And even when I'm playing like low-key smart, what things that would beat other characters, it loses to Big Band's kind of like default spacing option. The nice thing about up back symbols is it's very safe. It's very hard to punish. 
and it it beats my basically main pressure option let's uh, resume normal speed you can watch that one more time there we go Let's watch this back. So I beat the anti-air. But I didn't convert. That's on me. But you can see the way they're playing this. A lot of uh, giant step. And then a lot of anti-air. The anti-air loses to me. Because I just outspace better. But that uh, double jump thing. Really makes it hard for me to approach. You can see it like here. When I have to block. I can't, I can't up forward jump medium. Because it doesn't reach. Yeah. Uh, so, the gist of it is whoever is above the other player is an advantage. So, if I'm in the top right, like I just, like, you see how I'm above Big Band? Any situation where I'm above Big Band, that's my turn to play. Uh, you could H train here. It's kind of hard to react. But if you see me get into this position, you could H train. I wouldn't because I could be unfly baiting. I definitely do that if I get hit by H train too many times. Uh, but if Big Ban's above me, he's an advantage. And his isn't a multi hit, but it's also very safe. So you can just see we're just literally trying to get above each other. You want to be above each other, and whoever gets put in the corner has the harder time getting above the other player. Uh, I think Big Ban also couldn't really get over uh, uh, into the space that makes me uncomfortable here. Because he was already in the corner. So in both matchups, uh, both players want to walk each other into the corner and then get above them, pretty much. Okay. So let's start here. I'm on pressure. Uh, Pain Mill is in on band in the corner. She likes in being in that situation. This is huge for me. Uh, immediately, I get push blocked out. He's stuck in the position that is uncomfortable for pain wheel pain wheel does not like it when people are above her so check out what happens i got push block into symbols and i lose both my characters for it if if i blocked this this symbols uh he would have been safe to begin with so all right he would have been relatively safe so i just want to show you how that like screws people up this this beat my jump medium punch and it's not because of the push block timing it's because he was in the position where pain wheel is incredibly uncomfortable so now i'm trying to inch my way trying to get banned to corner himself uh i get a good read on the anti-air or no um more like claw master fumbles by trying to anti-air me from that distance uh check that out so <laughs> i'm just trying to play my normal game i neutral jump he jumps, uh, super jumps forward, and I get clapped for trying to press a button. Look how far that hit. That hit me basically from the full screen, and I got caught in my move startup because panel moves are incredibly slow. And honestly, this could have even caught me out of my flight startup. So, even if I block, he's in a good situation, but this, this right here makes the matchup just so hard. Let's check this out. Yeah, I tried to throw out a neutral jump, jump medium punch to control space. It puts a giant hitbox right in front of me, and so they end up either whiffing or blocking. And if it whiffs, I just refly and get back in. But Big Band just shut out that in idea entirely. I try to inch my way back in again. I'm getting outspaced by this giant step symbols. I just try to patiently wait for him, trying to bait him to overcommit to an option. And luckily for me, I, I managed to bait him out. So, look, see, I reached the, the height first, so I basically got to act first. Okay, so I think you guys understand the gist of the matchup now. And now I want to show you guys a tool that Clawmaster uses really well in this matchup, and you'll see a lot more of it as well in these uh, upcoming games. Okay, so this is why I stopped doing this. But uh, an incoming mix-up is charge armor and then flight cancel. If 
spike cancel into a viewer like cross up or sometimes the, the this move can can uh, beat it on the action um i had enough armor to beat the i think that's jump medium punch let me double check that actually it's jump light kick okay so big band jump light kick uh beats most of my armored moves however it does not beat charged heavy so what Clawmaster does here is they cancel their jump medium punch or jump medium kick into the uh timpani super which beats any option that i can cancel from here so if i go into death crawl i lose uh and if i try to viewer i lose so if i let go of the armor i lose so this is just a really good uh, check on me. If you are above pain wheel and she's trying to like trip guard hit you with like her sweep or something, just timpani. And then immediately goes back for the symbols and then uses uh, when they're in above me. Check this out. They jump in on me after landing. I try to get, uh, I whiff something. They realize this opportunity to go in. I, I hold more armor because I'm trying to bait a... Uh, Band to play rock paper scissors if band went for h train there he would have got hit if he went for brass there he would have got hit even if he like e braked into the m train uh there's a likelihood they could get hit so i was going for a hard read there i basically gave up my turn and let band get above me and now that band dash jumped above me i tried to fly it i i unfly there's a, a really common thing that will happen to you they'll try to fly that unfly uh, but now I have to hold the 50-50 because I'm going to touch the ground. Uh, Big Ben hits the ground first, I think, and then is able to low or overhead me. Uh, the low whiffs, but I don't react to it. Backdash. And so that's one way I got opened up. If you look at the whole exchange, jump light kick on Big Ben is ridiculously, ridiculously good against Pain Wheel. On paper, it beats my armor. It makes me block in the air. Uh... And it basically forces like the 50 50, um, of one of Ban's 50 50. Even if the uh, light kick whiffs, it could be push block bait. And if it doesn't whiff, then it's high, low, high. So it's, I think it's really good in this matchup. Okay, so here my pistol dies and I got snapped in. So immediately I try to dash her, gets blocked. Big Band tries to punish with Jump Light Kick, it's too slow. I got Push Block out, but now Band is in the in the spot where Pain Wheel doesn't like to be. So pa the reason Pain Wheel doesn't like to be underneath characters is because her anti-airs are only good if they use single hit um, overheads. And Big Band has a very fast multi-hitting overhead, so in this matchup, being under him really sucks. It's the same thing with like Annie, with her Jump Medium Punch. But yeah, I get put into the situation where I'm in the corner, so it's very easy for Big Ben to get above me. And I get caught by the giant step trying to fly. So he, I get push blocked out, and normally when I get a push block, it means that I get to fly. So uh, in more, many pain wheels, after getting push blocked, they'll try to regain space. They'll try to either up forward or up back button or try to like fly cancel uh, PBGC fly. And with Big Band, if you PBGC him out, he can just giant step and then you have to hold that or you just get caught like that. And it puts us back in the situation where he's above me again. Okay, push blocked out. I get caught for trying to up forward JMP, which that would work against most characters, by the way. I try to do it again and the light kick uh, air to air is me. It's another tip when you play against Pain Wheel. If you're already in on her, don't be afraid of the giant jump medium punch button. It's really freaking slow. It will lose to most moves. Even if your your uh, up forward button is as slow as Big Band jump light kick. I'm going to show you guys more situations where I get caught by giant step, where I get anti aired by giant step because it's so big. Okay, so Big Band's in on me. He's in that uncomfortable spot. He uses this. Um, I cannot do really anything about it. I got my push block, and once again, I think it's my turn. I tried to PBGC fly, and I got counter hit by Giant Step. 
So basically after push blocks, giant step is really good against pain wheel because we usually think that once we get a push block, it's our turn to play. And it's not your turn to play. And if they uh, uh, like respect it, then you get an overhead. Uh, that's a really cute burst bait. You can try that out against Pamiel. Always try to burst bait her in the air because half the time, especially if she's above 3 meters, she's trying to thresh her and then DHC out if it doesn't work. I immediately try it. Okay, so I have 3 bar here, so I'm like, damn. I really want to get Pamiel out. I'm going to death crawl into, into Parasol level 3 so that I get a safe DHC. However, I neglect to consider that Clawmaster is in the uncomfortable position for me and is in the air above me. So I don't cancel it fast enough and his hit stop from the super prevents me from canceling it later. So I, I'm, I'm freaking mashing level 3 here. Let me Look at me. Look at me. I'm fucking mashing. I'm mashing my level 3 input right now. I'm not getting that shit. So that's another reason why you want to be in that uncomfortable position for pain wheel. You always want to be above her. Uh... But even if you're not, you can just like dash up, jump like kick. As long as she's not flying at you already, there's like not a lot she can do. So what we learned from that, basically push block giant step is really good against pain wheel. She has to hold it. Being above pain wheel and then reacting to her death crawl reversal with timpani is also extremely strong. And also at three bars, try burst baiting her. That's just a player thing, but most players will get caught by that. Okay, so now Big Ben's in on me in the corner. Uses his symbols, I can't punish it. Look, I just try to up forward and there's like nothing I can do, even especially if he just backs up like that. Backs up, throws out a spacing tool. I can't really react to punish it. I'm not very good with Punisher. But now I just started to fly, unfly, try to bait out A train. No A train, so I go and fly all the way to the top of the screen. There's a symbols, now it's my turn to play because I'm in the uncomfortable range for Big Ben. I tried to unfly again because I thought that uh, anti-air was going to be a... I thought that anti-air was going to be a train again. Like now he's above me, I gave him too much space because he double jumped. So Big Van's double jump is huge in this matchup. The fact that he can double jump and then use his sibbles and it puts you above pain wheel. Her air buttons do not go up. Her air buttons go straight forward or down. So if you have a giant dis disjointed button and you're above pain wheel, it gets super uncomfortable for me. I basically lose my turn. I have to land and then try to pressure you on the ground. I try to throw out the crash light kick. Um, it doesn't work. So throws out the A train. Don't throw A trains. Luckily for me, it doesn't really hit, but like I'm not going forward in that situation to begin with. Like I just whiff the crouch light kick. Yeah. If I witch a crouch if I witch with a crouch light kick, I'm up backing. Like, oh shit, I just lost my turn. That moves slow as hell. Uh I don't recommend using rock, paper, scissors in this matchup. Double jumps over my tears, really good. Great juicy double jump. So here is interesting. I got push blocked out, try to get thrown it even though Big Band's massive because they, uh, I got push blocked out and he up backs, I can't catch him. Okay. Now I use the nails in this matchup to get above Big Band. Even if you parry it, I'm still above you and it's very uncomfortable. So. Uh, one note, uh, one side note about this matchup is whoever is pinned in the corner really struggles to deal with their offense. So if I'm pinned in the corner, Big Band gets in the uncomfortable spot really easily. If I pin Band in the corner, I have access to a shit ton of safe jumps and really good on hit pressure. If I get push blocked out, it can get risky uh, because I can get push blocked in the giant step like you saw in the previous examples. But luckily for me here, Big Band's just so big that like my shit just hits him. So here's interesting, like I mentioned before, this move doesn't have enough uh, multi-hit to beat a, a charged, fully charged uh, heavy armor. So what Cloudmaster should have done, they had a bar, they should have timpanied here. If they timpanied here, I would have been, I got hit, but it doesn't matter because I just get hit by SSJ. Now we have to play neutral. And I win the neutral. So I got above Big Bands, and he was double jumping here. If, if Pain Wheel gets above you, it's like in my favor. If you get above Pain Wheel, it's in her favor. Basically, B Clawmaster was not 
close and or not far enough away for me to just neutral jump or like jump without touching the ground there they probably want they should have like jumped backwards if they didn't want to get air thrown here i know that on squiggly my air throw will whiff and that's game basically all right so let's start with the incoming what incoming do i use i use this which is the same side cross-up mix-up and also beats timpani really good whiffs a, a train with end train, I'm way too far for that to hit. They have to like car cancel something and then use like the uh, like super heavy armor version. Um, so this lets me above big bands. I do this way too early, but I have L shot, so it kind of covers my space. It doesn't really matter. I get to do it again. And because I'm above big band here, I win this interaction. So if Clawmaster wanted to win, what, what's been catching Clawmaster a lot in these is he's double jumping or like symbolsing uh, before he can get above me. So what he needs to do is he needs to block, respect this, and then super jump ba up backwards and try to get above me when I'm like reflying. I hear, but uh, my tear screws me over because I'm not ready for it to pop. Tries to anti-air me. I, I Actually, I don't think there's an anti-air. I think there's a whiffed uh, A-train. Yeah. Even if that came out, I think I still win that though. Um, here, I just get caught holding up forward with, uh, with giant step. So basically, a lot of pain wheels jump medium shit is holding up forward and then pressing your button immediately. Uh, because you want to use the distance to let your move come out. So from this distance, I thought I was safe. Let's play, uh, let's play this back. I unflew to try to bait an H train. I back up a bit, and then I saw I like see the whiff, and then I just try to like okay my turn uh, up forward jump medium punch, and then I get counter hit because Big Band's move is just covers too much space. So now I'm trying to shimmy, trying to get Big Band to commit to a normal so I can jump in on him. I end up walk getting walked back into the corner. If you play against Pain Wheel, that's what you want to do. She wants she needs to. Like she needs an opportunity for you to kill yourself on onto her. So I'm I'm waiting for the H train. I'm waiting for the brass. I'm waiting for like the the anti air. Um, but because I'm waiting, that gives Clawmaster the opportunity to walk me back into the corner. Because I got walked back into the corner, I realize this, and my flight timer runs out. And this situation, actually, I don't realize this, and my flight timer runs out. And this situation is really bad for me. Because now Big Band can easily just dash jump and get on top of me and uh, be in the uncomfortable place where Pain Wheel can't really anti-air him. Luckily, Clawmaster doesn't really do much about it. And then a react or Clawmaster reacts to that late. And so I get to get another jump medium punch out and pressure, try to fight my way out of the corner. It doesn't freaking matter though because uh, I get hit by the uh, push block double jump symbols. It's actually not even double jump. I get hit by the push block uh, symbols. And because I'm in the corner, there's nowhere for me to like back up. I just get hit. So this is crazy for taking back your turn. If you block a jump medium punch in the air, try this out. Especially if Pain Wheel's in the corner and doesn't have anywhere to go. That's like massive. So I got walked back into the corner and I just get... There's nowhere for me to run. Look at this giant button. That takes the entire screen. The only way I wouldn't have got hit by that is if I were like down backing. Here I have zero health so I'm trying to bait him into chipping me out. Uh, and then I end up letting Big Band like uh, get a full bar because I'm scared that he's going to chip me out with like brass if I try to go in. I realize he's about to hit the bar so I, I force myself to go in and I it was just too late. I didn't make the realization. And then I lose the pain wheel. Okay. So let's check this out. Symbols. And then uh, that button. I don't generally recommend doing that. Painwell has a lot of options to meaty that. Um, here I try to bait out a brass or like a button and I just straight up lose it. So you remember how jump light kick doesn't beat the heavy armor? Well, that's fine. Do you want to know why? Because symbols beats the heavy armor. 
So I literally had this. I didn't even. I didn't even let go of this armor. I just got broken in all of it, because apparently symbols hits like five million times for zero reason. Like literally, why? <laughs> Okay, so now I get slid to Oki, put, gets into the uncomfortable position for me, I have to respect this, push blocks it out, and then I have to... I learn from my mistakes, and I don't jump medium punch when I get the push block, instead I do it after I block the giant step. So, giant step still means you're plus, but you end up got, getting into the sky at the same time, so my jump medium punch will let me... Uh, that gives me enough space to press jump medium punch. So just be aware of that. You can't really press buttons uh, when you're minus. It's just how it is. Just being in that situation where you're above pain wheel is like the key to hitting her. There. Yeah, you see in the input bar you can check that there's a wake up throw. Um, you People normally think because you have armor there that you can beat that with wake up throw you can't um basically the way that pain wheel jab works is you can let go of the button early and and hit them as soon as like possible and you still get like four frames of armor or something so i hold the armor for just a bit and then i let go so that it meets the throw uh pain wheel can do that so if she's using that setup try not to wake up throw Wake up throw is good if she's committing to heavy armor, but if she's committed to light armor, definitely do not do that. Okay, so here, once again, I tried to pressure while Big Ban's above me, and he stays above me because of the push block. Really good. Um, all my buttons are too slow, and I get hit by the symbols again. Push block symbols when you're above pain is super good. I'm trying to inch my way forward, trying to get banned to corner himself and then if he with something I try to punish it but he's safe because that moves very safe tries to anti-air do not anti-air a big disjointed button try to think, do the uh, thing that baits wake up throw again and then I get caught I simply outspaced he's above me I shouldn't press anything as soon as he's above me I need to give up my turn uh, I need to just block this because if I try to up forward jump medium punch again, I get hit. So let's see how exactly he got above me. Blocks my things, push blocks me out, jumps forward, symbols. Literally doesn't even need to double jump it, just jump forward symbols. The uh, little jump symbols has on it will put her above pain wheel. I get put above him again, lucky for me I block. And I just wait because I know he's above me. I, what I'm trying to wait for is for him to fall back to the ground after he wastes his double jump. See, now that he's on the ground, I'm in the air. Now it's my situation. If he, he's, I'm trying to bait him to H train. Try, I bait out the anti air. So, so now it's my turn. He's super minus. I jump into the air. I'm above him basically, and because I'm above him, I win. I try to bait a beat extend. I think that works, but not against like L beat. I think it works against like H beat. I don't get enough meter. I try to chip out and then I lose because I panicked. It is what it is. So I think that's basically the gist of everything I want to tell you. Um, TLDR. Well, whatever. I'll just make it pretty big. Okay, so TLDR, whoever is above, whoever is above the other will probably win the interaction because both JMP and symbols are big disjointed buttons with slow startup. Use uh, super jump, double jump, push block, or air push block, push block, 
or wait until pinwheel lands or corners herself and then get above her from there spam symbols it's very safe if you're already above her okay next thing walk Painwheel into the corner when she has to play lame. Don't get walked into the corner yourself. Into the corner yourself. It's easier to get above the opponent into the uncomfy zone. If you are above now if you are cornered don't play rock paper scissors with pain wheel especially if they are good at on fly on fly plus assist means your turn is over die only use those tools if painwheel is at a disadvantage like used up all her flight or just landed from jmp and wants to refly uh giant step is massive and will beat and will cover the space painwheel needs in order to throw out JMP. So if you're struggling against painwheel jump medium punch, like if every time she gets push blocked out, uh, she uses it, you try using giant step, literally not even to open her up, just to uh, cover the space. Use move to cover the space after she push blocks you out so that she has to respect. Highly recommend giant step plus assist because if she blocks it, you are minus. And she will get above you. She has to block it though. And most pain wheels think that if they don't block something, they can fly. They can't. I think jump light kick. I, I in in these notes I wrote jump medium punch. I meant to say jump light elk jump light kick. J JLK is a really good button to stop her from anti airing you. Up forward. JLK is very strong against her in the corner. Uh, it does, however, lose to heavy armor. So if she uses heavy armor, JLK Timpani or just use symbols. Uh, be careful with 
wake up the row charged or half charged half charged jab meaties it while also beating SSJ I think that's basically it yeah I think I think that's pretty much it so I hope this helped you all thank you so much for watching I very much appreciate it if you could please uh, share this with your friends who play big band uh, leave a like leave a comment uh, give me a subscription follow me on Twitter follow me on twitch give me a twitch sub smile <laughs> Um, I'm planning on doing much more of these. I know there's like certain players that I really struggle against and I can teach you on why this player is using your character to smoke me, but when you use that character, it doesn't do anything. So I hope you all had a good time. Please stop by the Stray Cats Cafe once again and have a good day. Peace.